Good morning, Crossroads South. It is Tuesday, December 5th. It is a B day today. Um, and a few things. First of all, for any of the students who performed uh, last night in the concert, you did an awesome job. Um, you, you have been working so hard and um, everything sounded amazing. So for anybody who had the opportunity to hear it, um, I know you agree. And for everybody else, we're looking forward to the concert time on um, the day before winter break. And you can share your talents with us then because um, that'll be great. So congratulations to all of our students last night. Um, we are gearing up for a couple more concerts next week. On Monday, we have um, another band concert, our jazz band, jazz ensemble, and concert bands. On Wednesday, we have our orchestra concert for all of our orchestras. And then um, the following week, we have our choir concert. So music is filling all three weeks. Um, let's talk a little bit about sports. Sports are going to be starting up soon. I have to give a, a shout out to our basketball teams. They're looking good. Um, wrestling, I didn't get a chance to see you yesterday, but I know you've been working hard. Lots of conditioning and lots of exhausted kids um, on these teams. They're working you hard, so keep going. Um, we're excited for the season to open, and just so you know, I do have... Um, a connection or a friendship with the principal in North Plainfield. And he posted a video on Twitter that said his basketball team looks amazing, both girls and boys. And I was like, mm, we're going to have to take them out. So just putting that out there. Um, a couple other announcements for you. Um, I am standing by my crock because I still have it. And I wanted to let you know, I still have more gibbets um, for sale from the PTO. So if you're looking for one of the gibbets, they are $5. If you're looking for a magnet, they are also $5. Um, you can let me know and uh, bring your money down. I will have them available during HAP periods, but $5 and you too can get a gibbet. I have a bunch of them. So don't worry and don't panic. There is no rush to be had for the gibbets. Um, let's see. I think that's everything today. Uh, we, we kind of have a quiet time. We're gearing up for some other things. Don't forget Friday is an early release day. No lunch. And oh yeah, we're still on the no cell phone ban um, or the cell phone ban, which means they are away 100% of the time. They should not be on your body. Even if they're seen in a pocket, they are being taken away. We have a couple of students where um, it's been taken away once, twice. By the time it gets to twice, you have to have a parent come and get it. Um, after that, it stays here for a couple of days. So um, it, it is an easy rule to follow. It's all about you having self-control. So that's on you. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say about cell phones is somebody asked me about after school and I appreciate, you know who you are, I appreciate the students who were saying, hey, listen, we're still on school campus. If you need to, if you're here after school for a club or an activity, it should be away. But if you need to text your parent to say, I'm getting on the bus and all of that, you can ask for permission from either your coach or your um, club advisor and they will give you permission and that's how that will go. Otherwise, it shouldn't be out and doing all crazy things, okay? It should be away. So I'll lift that a tiny bit for after school so that you commu can communicate with families. Otherwise, it is away 100% of the time. All right, folks, let's hope that we can get through this week and get better by the end of the week and um, relax a little bit next week. We'll see. It's up to all of you. All right, that concludes the morning announcements. Please stand for the salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Have an awesome day.